its help for a minute. And we come up with a list of these leftist extremists like Jack Black who's out there saying things like, they better hit them next time. Uh, they're basically calling for another assassination and Biden already denounced that. He already said that there was no place in this America for political violence. So who is Jack Black representing? Who is he affiliated with? And uh, why are these people allowed to speak and say these uh, terroristic notions, you know, attacking the uh, Republican nominee? I mean, he, Trump's way up in, in the uh, polls and pretty much everywhere. So, I mean, this is obviously some political attack, right? I mean, there's no, there's no, no one can say, it, you know, because there's people out there saying that this was staged. How was it staged when somebody died? You know, there's, there's somebody died and there's still two or three more people that's critically injured. Um, how, how sick are you in the head where you, you're so deranged that you can't understand the shit that you're saying you're wishing harm on other people just because of your political affiliation you don't like Trump you don't like the the next president of the United States I mean look how far they've came they, they've tried everything they've thrown the book at the guy and nothing's worked I mean they've they've tried to assassinate him and and it, the, the thing is too it's not really going to work because Trump Trump is supported and protected by God. So evil it will not prevail against God's will. And God's will is that Trump is going to be president in 2024. And Trump is going to make America great again. And uh, I, I think it's come to these extremes, unfortunately, for a lot of people to wake up and realize, it's like, man, these, these are the extremists. These are the terrorists, the political terrorists that they've been supporting we need a we need to come up with a list of people like jack black who said these calls for acts of violence i mean even joe biden said put a target on trump i mean he called for this this was this was this kid's understanding of what he was called upon to do and luckily enough for our, for america and trump's family and everyone just just for the world in general luckily the leftist extremists are bad shots i mean they shouldn't they don't want guns but they can't use a gun anyway i mean god dang i mean it was 150 yards anybody that sh that shoots that's an easy shot um you know so thank god that he missed and thank god that he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with a gun and and yeah youtube's probably gonna try to censor my video but I don't give a fuck I mean YouTube doesn't get to tell me what to do I'm still free to say whatever the fuck I want I don't have to ask nobody nothing I have a God given right to speak that's why I got a tongue I didn't ask nobody to say anything and I don't have to ask nobody whether I want to say anything or not you know so YouTube they can censor my shit because yeah it's a private platform I understand that but I'm not going to stop talking I'm sure as hell not going to stop saying whatever, whatever the fuck I want to say and uh that's just how that's going to be um if I have to move to a different platform, or, I mean, really, I don't have a social presence. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. But this is getting to an extreme where I think that uh, these people need to be put on a list and then uh, investigated at the very least for calling out attacks against the Republican nominee um, who's likely going to be president in a couple months. Um, how are these people free how are they allowed to say these things i mean if, if somebody called for an attack on biden um they'd probably get this the swat would probably be there within the hour um you know fbi everybody i mean the whole fucking the whole fucking kit and caboodle so why is this being allowed you know and biden even already denounced this so, so uh, you know next time we see trump is his his uh secret service detail going to be, uh, you know, bigger and, and uh, more robust as far as like covering a wider range across, you know, instead of what, maybe a quarter mile in all directions, maybe a half mile or maybe a mile. Because um, I mean, Secret Service, they failed. They got lucky. We all got lucky. Uh, and, and on that, let's take a moment and uh, 
vote in our hearts and our minds. You know, there was an innocent person that died from this. There was two or three other people that was that are still critically injured as far as I understand it. They're still in the hospital today, still fighting for their life. I mean, I think they're stable, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it, I mean, re even regardless of that, they're going to be impacted for the rest of their lives and uh, their families and everyone, you know. And this was all for what? You know, just because you don't like the political opponent, you know. That's the extremes we've came to and... and the leftist extremists are calling the right the extremists and they're the ones that's doing all this crazy stuff I mean it's just nonsense wake up people it's about to get a lot worse but I think that uh, I think it, when things like this happen a lot of people are just going to wake up and uh, justice will prevail and, and God's going to prevail um, you know, this is, this is a battle, this is a war that's been ongoing for, between good and evil for a long, long time. So, don't think that you're the warrior that's going to win the battle when it's been raging for probably hundreds of years, if not since whenever the beginning was, which, you know, that's all to be debated and whatever. 